Good evening, I am Mary Esther Reed, the mayor of the town of Smyrna, and I want to welcome you all here to uh, the town of Smyrna lighting ceremony. Uh, the, myself, the council, and the employees are all glad to have you here. You know, this is probably one of my favorite events that we do every year, and there's a couple of reasons why. One, it always tells me we're starting the holiday season, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year. So that always gets me excited. And then it's also the sense of community that this event brings. We bring together friends, we bring together family, and we bring together community. And I think that's something very special that we have here in Smyrna. But the other thing it does is it helps to make memories. And I can remember when I was little, and some of you will remember this, the town hall used to be on Lowry Street where the fire hall is now. And there was a big cedar tree that was out there in front. And that we had those old glass lights. And I'm sure a lot of you remember those old glass bulbs with all the different colors. And I can remember being so excited when we would light that tree. And I knew that Christmas was just around the corner. So I hope tonight will do for you what it did for me as a little girl, bringing together friends bringing together family, and most of all, bringing together community and making memories. We've got a really nice presentation tonight, but to get us started, we're going to have the presentation of colors and the pledge, and I'm going to ask that you stand for the presentation of the colors and the pledge, and Hope, if you'll come up, Hope is going to lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. Arms. Right. Face. Mark. March. Four. Thank you, you may be seated. And I have to give a big thank you to Hope because on the fly tonight I came in and was looking for a young man or young woman who would be willing to get up in front of all of this group and on TV to, get, to do the pledge. So I think she did a really nice job, so thank you. And I'm gonna let Hope introduce herself and tell us where she goes to school and maybe who your homeroom teacher is because I bet you don't just have one teacher. That way she can kind of give a shout out to some of her friends. So tell us your name and where you go to school. I'm Hope Scott and I go to school at Central Magnet and my homeroom teacher is Miss Bissoni. Great, thanks Hope. We are very lucky tonight. We have um, a great jazz band here with us. The Stewart's Creek High School Jazz Band is with, is with us, and we have two great schools, high schools here in Smyrna, and so we've decided since we have a new school, each year we're going to kind of alternate back and forth and um, have both schools uh, helping us out with the event. So we are really excited to have the Stewart's Creek High School Jazz Band and tonight, Terry Jolly is with us, and we really appreciate it. I'm going to turn it over to you guys.
That, uh, that first selection was called Nutcracker Rock. We took uh, Nutcracker Suite there and kind of jazzed it up a little bit with some rock funk in there. Hope you enjoyed that. The next piece we're going to do is called No L and Swing. Nice job. Um, at this time, I'd like to take an opportunity to, to introduce the town council. And first of all, Vice Mayor Mark Adkins, H.G. Cole, Paul Johns, Lance Lee, Tim Morrell, Rick Wise, and our newest member, our new town manager, Harry Gill. Would you like to? Would you like to come up and say anything? Come right on, I insist. I've actually only been on the job for two days, so I really hadn't earned the right to step up here and speak. But uh, uh, first of all, it's a, a big night, uh, obviously, in Smyrna. Uh, first of all, I know how proud you ladies must be out there to see the Smyrna mayor, a female, giving all us old guys orders. And... Uh, She's doing a remarkable job, I'd say that. I'm real proud of her. She was a former student of mine. Also, I'm an old Smyrna High School Bulldog graduate and coach there, as many of you may know, and then became a principal and the school superintendent. And it, despite my ties to Smyrna High, it makes me really proud to see the Stewart's Creek High School come to fruition and see the job these guys did. So in keeping with past tradition, I'm going to close... Uh, with with the few comments I've already said and wish all of you folks a, a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving, uh, eat, eat plenty, and also wish you a wonderful, happy uh, holiday season and uh, best to all of you. Thanks, Harry. I also want to thank some people who have made this night happen. Um, the Smyrna Library staff has a table when you came in, as well as the Smyrna Girls Fast Pitch League our Smyrna Police Department, our Fire Department, and our Fire Department Honor Guard, the Town Center staff, and the Administration staff. I also want to recognize an individual, Roseanne Peppers. I cannot tell you the, the amount of hours that she spends on making this night happen for us and for these children here. So Roseanne, and to all of these, thank you very much.
Now the talking is done, and I think we are ready to hear a little more music. That was Rock On, Mary Gents, and as you picked up on, it featured Scott Sullivan on drums a little bit back there. Give him a hand. <laughs> also, a little duet work here with uh, Joseph Williams and Mr. Dave Davison back there in the back. And uh, you may notice that Dave uh, looks a little older than high school. Uh, as you may realize if you pay attention to the schedule of their school, we have a basketball game going on right now, and at Sears Creek, students can be in, we're trying to encourage them to be in everything they can manage on their own. Well, our basketball player got to start tonight, so he's over there, and Mr. Davison agreed to come in and read the first book for us tonight, along with Sailor back there, so we're very thankful for him doing that. <clears throat> And I also want to point out that Mr. Lynn, our middle school band director from across the street, is uh, also sitting in as we had another person who needs to do a few uh, homework assignments tonight to catch up. Um, so I'll just say it that way. But uh, he's, he's finishing up uh, what he needs to to make sure he's staying academically correct. And Mr. Lynn is a big part of why we're successful this year, and we're very proud to have him sitting in with us tonight as well. 
Our next piece is called Big Band Holiday, and it has a mixture of four or five different uh, holiday tunes. If you can figure them out, feel free to sing along. Thank you, that have featured a bell on alto sax there. Go ahead and wave out. And Dakota on trombone. And there was a nice sax soli section there toward the middle. I hope you enjoyed that as well from the sax. 
Our next piece is called Green Sleeves, and this will feature Kevin Krause on tenor sax. I should brag on Rex, too, because he, he has to hold the whole thing down. He plays the whole time, so Rex on Barry's sax is also featured. Even though it doesn't say solo, it's really a solo all the time. So. Over here on Barry Sax, Rex Davis. Tenor Sax, Ryan Hines. And just playing the solo there, Kevin Krauss. Joseph Williams on alto. Abel Gerardo on alto. Ozzy Cartwright back here on bass trombone. Adi West. Stand up, Adi. Stay right there. While he's standing up, I might as well let you know he made first chair All State tuba this last weekend. So, 
Yeah, and he's playing trombone with us right now, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, right beside him is Sean Hackney on trombone. <laughs> Dakota Greer on trombone. Tyler Marks on trombone. <laughs> Mr. Andrew Lynn on trumpet. I'm not even going to say Mia's last name. I just call her Mia, but there's Mia right there. <laughs> I say it different every time, every single time. I, I don't think it's possible, but I've figured it out. I can do it different every time. Uh, Sarah Clayton here on trumpet. <laughs> Dave Davidson there on trumpet as well. <laughs> on bass guitar, Nathan O'Neill. <laughs> Keep standing, Nathan. Uh, Nathan's playing bass guitar tonight, but he made first chair silver, 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 <laughs> silver band. You're in the silver band. In a silver band for Mid State this last weekend on percussion. So. <laughs> on guitar, Jake Andel. Here on piano, Drew Harris. Brag on Drew, he's also on the football team, so we like having him in here. <laughs> yeah. I've, I haven't taught him how to tackle how I tackle yet, but we'll get to that. <laughs> Scott Sullivan right now on auxiliary percussion. And Steven Sonner back there on the drum set. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down to Santa Claus Lane. Simply sending all his reindeers pulling on the rain. Bells are ringing, children singing, all is merry and bright. So hang your stockings and say your prayers, and Santa Claus is coming tonight. Christmas Jesus, the Santa coming tonight. The Santa Claus is coming tonight. Hello there. Hi. How are y'all doing? 